To illustrate another case of a special example here, I've, I've made one little change over our previous example where I changed a less than symbol into a greater than symbol. And let's see what happens when we do that. So again, the technique is to first factor the left side. We're going to write this as the product of two binomials. We end up with an x and an x. Since these are two pluses, we need two pluses right here. And now we look for two numbers here that when you multiply, you get a four. When you add them, you get also a four. And of course, the only solution there is that they're both a two. Then the next step is to go ahead and write the equivalent equation by changing the inequality sign to an equal sign. So we end up with an x plus two times an x plus two is equal to zero. When we do that and solve for that, we will get the critical points of our solution for our inequality. When we multiply two binomials and we get a zero, that means either the left binomial is equal to zero or the right binomial is equal to zero. Or I should write x plus two is equal to zero. And of course, they're the same binomial, so we'll get the same solution. You get an x equals negative two or x equals negative two, which means there's only one critical point here, one point on the number line. Let's draw that. Here's the number 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So there's only one point, x equal negative 2, that provides the division between two regions in this case that will offer a possible solution to our inequality. Since there is no equal sign here, we cannot draw a solid circle. We have to draw a hollow circle, which indicates that the number negative 2 is not part of the solution. And either the left side or the right side or perhaps both, or neither, will be part of the solution to that inequality. So we have two regions. We're going to test for those two regions by plugging in a test sample point. Let's say the number negative 3 for region 1, the number 0 for region 2. Anytime you can use a number 0 for a test point, that's always a good thing. Makes it easy. So for region 1, we're going to let x equal the test point negative 3. We'll plug that into the inequality right here. So we have negative 3 squared plus 4 times negative 3 plus 4, is that then greater than 0? If it is, we pick the point in the region that belongs to the solution. If it's not, then we pick the point that's not part of the solution. All right, so this is a positive 9, minus 12, plus 4, greater than 0. 9 plus 4 is 13, minus 12. Is 1 greater than 0, question mark? And the answer is yes, which means that the point negative 3 is in a region that belongs to the solution. So everything in this side of negative 2 is part of the solution. All right, now we try the other side, region 2. And so for region 2, we're going to let x equal 0, because 0 lies in region 2. We plug 0 in the inequality to see if that makes that a true statement. So we have 0 squared plus 4 times 0 plus 4, is that greater than 0? Of course, 0 plus 0 drops out. So 4 greater than 0, question mark, and the answer is yes again, which means in this case, the right side is also part of the solution. So we go ahead and indicate that by drawing a solid line here and an arrow, like so. And so that means that all the points to the left of negative 2 and all the points to the right of negative 2 are part of the solution to this inequality. The only point, negative 2, is not part of the solution. 